Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to test the LED lights in your GE refrigerator. If you need to purchase a new LED light for your refrigerator, check out our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Since we'll be working with electricity, exercise extreme caution during testing. The LED lights on this refrigerator are on a series circuit. This means that if one of the lights in the circuit is damaged or removed, that the entire circuit will turn off. There are two ways to determine which light has failed. You can buy a new LED light and install it in place of every light in the circuit until it comes back on, or you can test the lights using an external power source. Please note that the voltage may vary on each model of refrigerator. Reference the manufacturer's voltage specifications for your model. In order to remove the light, gently pry it away from the refrigerator's lining using a flat-headed screwdriver. Be careful as it is still connected by wires. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Connect the new light to the vacant electrical connector. If the circuit turns back on, fully install the light by aligning it to the opening in the housing and pressing it until it snaps back into place. If the circuit does not power on, reinstall the light you replaced and continue this process down the line until you find the faulty light. The second method involves removing the light and testing it using an external power source. You'll need a DC bench power supply that is capable of replicating your refrigerator's voltage. Our refrigerator's lights tested at 3.1 volts. Additionally, you'll want to make note of the positive and negative terminals on your light. If, when testing your voltage, your readout is a positive value, you can assume that the red probe is touching the positive terminal. Now, connect the power supply to the light. If the light turns on, it is good and does not need to be replaced. If the light does not turn on, it is bad and will need to be replaced. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.